What are you girls doing in there? Buck, buck, buck. Buck, 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 buck. We doing Jack? Chickens are going at it. The roosters are going at it. Right, Jack? What are you doing? This is Pony Prepper Bill. Today is Tuesday, September 20th. I just wanted to give an update. I've done this a couple times. I'm trying to get through it. Uh, an update on Cody, the dog. Uh, he passed away on Saturday. Uh, for those of you who don't know, or he was, uh, the neighbor got him from somebody in town that moved. Supposed he had the dog for like eight years. Moved, had money, and just gave the dog away, didn't want the dog anymore. So the neighbor like adopted him or brought him in and took him to the vet. His hair was all matted. He's a little white uh, American Eskimo, I think he is. The vet, they don't know how old he is, like 10, maybe 12 years old. But he had cancer. He had liver or kidney problems. Uh, arthritis, his front legs, the joints were kind of bad. He'd walk and have his, look like a buster badass sometimes. Some days he was like a puppy, and some days he was he was hurt. I just don't understand how people can have an animal and just, after years having it, just like, eh. Unless they knew he had cancer and didn't want to go through the, you know, the death. Which, you know, when my dog a couple of years ago went, uh, I didn't think I wanted another dog. But lately I've been thinking about getting another dog. But she, she got this dog, I was working on the chicken coop, and the dog would come over here every day, you know, I'm like, oh, you know, what a cool dog. I thought he was a puppy, you know, but he was like 10 years old, around that, I guess. But he would, you know, she was taking care of him, took him to the vet a couple times, but he kept coming over here, and then she would text, like, have you seen the dog? I let him out to go to the bathroom, I can't find him. So I look out, and he's on our front porch, laying on our front porch so she'd come over take him back home and an hour later he'd be at our front door again so we were like switching back and forth taking care of him you know we loved to go for car rides you know she had a car seat for him he sat up he would he loved to go for rides we took him out to the you know out through the uh, pine barrens driving through the woods uh, he loved walking around but he had good days, he had bad days, but he was a good dog. He never barked, he never bit anybody. He got along with our chickens, he didn't have a problem with the chickens. He got along with the pigs, he knew to stay the hell away from the pigs. Uh, I never heard him bark, but one time, one, UPS and stuff is here every day. You got UPS, FedEx, Amazon, and I figured it was Amazon or whatever, but I'm working on the chicken coop and I heard a bark. I'm like, what the hell was that? And it was him. He barked at the driver. Just that one time. But I'd let him out. He would he'd go to the bathroom in the woods and come back. I never stepped in any dog shit ever. He just, I wish I could train a dog to do that. But he would go in the woods. And then sometimes I'd be like midnight. He'd have to go out and I'd be putting the chickens away and stuff. Or putting the, feeding the pigs. Uh, and I can't find the dog. And he would go down the driveway into the pitch black. Can't see anything out here. He'd go out there, disappear. And then through the woods, he would walk through and come through the neighbor's yard and come home. But yeah, he was a good dog. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I let him out to go to the bathroom. And it's, it's nighttime. And he went over here into the high reeds and the grass. He went to the bathroom and he comes back and the front porch is hitting him, you know, the, the porch light. And he had all this, look like sand. So I'm trying to wipe it off and it wasn't coming off. I take a brush and I'm like, man, what the hell is this? I looked at it, my fingers, there was stuff 
moving. There were little seed ticks, like small, half the size of a poppy seed, hundreds of them. You had to give him two bears to get rid of that. But he got this thing on his back. Uh, the cancer spread. He had like this pus coming out. It was like a bright yellow, and then it was black. And he wasn't eating right. And the last two days he didn't really know you were there so they took him to the vet Saturday and uh, the cancer spread he was in pain and uh, he never woke up so so that's that I just want to give an update on that and I'm getting ready tomorrow to go to Gilbert Pennsylvania for the military vehicle show and swap meet flea market and everything I go every year I drive my buddy's camper up there he sells you know military uh, Dodge parts and Jeep parts and stuff so that's at the West End West End Fairgrounds in Gilbert Pennsylvania Friday and Saturday surf into military vehicles uh, camping backpacking or survival stuff I got all kinds of stuff there if you're looking for it and this is Pony Prepper Bill, and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.